let's now talk about a very interesting angle to critical discourse analysis especially in relation to uh, educational discourses this is about deconstructive or reconstructive orientation towards critical discourse analysis inquiry uh, i'll explain you what it is about uh, scholars uh, within within the ambit of critical discourse analysis have concerned themselves by a large uh, to a large extent with a critique of uh, or critical analysis of domination and oppression which has been running in various sections of the society in various institutions of the society and they probably have not been able to point out some kind of the ways which could construct uh, liberation and freedom if you allow me to speak that in very simple words or let's say in an uh, in our own language in urdu uh, i would say ke abhi tak jo discourse raha hai critical discourse analysis overall generally baat kare इसने बुराई की तनकीद तो की है बुराई से यह मुराद के कहाँ जुल्म हो रहा है कहाँ माशरे में बदयानती है ना इंसाफ़ी है कहाँ ज़ुबान और उसके इस्तेमाल के ज़रिए माशरे में होने वाले म को मज़ीद बढ़ाया जा रहा है उसको पॉइंट आउट किया है जो कि बुरा आ, अमल नहीं है बड़ा अच्छा काम है कि आप बुराई को पॉइंट आउट करें लेकिन उसके साथ अच्छाई को कैसे बनाना है कैसे उसको पनपना है कैसे फ़रोग देना है उसकी तरफ बिल्कुल निशानदेही बहुत कम हुई है बहुत कम निशानदेही हुई है हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट फ्रीडम लिबरेशन वर्चू इन अ सोसाइटी दैट कुड ऑल्सो पॉसिबली बी एन एजेंडा फॉर क्रिटिकल डिस्कोर्स एनालिसिस एंड क्रिटिकल डिस्कोर्स एनालिस शुड फोकस ऑन दिस ऑल्सो दैट इज वॉट वी कॉल द कंस्ट्रक्टिव यूज ऑफ क्रिटिकल डिस्कोर्स एनालिसिस सो फार वी हैव बिन फोकसिंग मोर ऑन डी कंस्ट्रक्टिव In, through which we deconstruct we decode uh, uh the exploitations manipulations uh oppressions which are associated with or embedded with uh, with the language or its use in in the society as i said earlier but now the, recently there has been a huge thrust uh a huge focus and uh, and there has been voices uh to to focus on reconstructive use of language also and if you just look at this shift this shift probably would be more relevant to the discourses about education because in education we need to add more discourse about the constructive aspects of uh, of the society or constructive aspects of education and uh, 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 personally speaking i i would rather say that this if uh, there is more if there is a need of constructive discourse in various fields of life probably education is the one where it is needed the most so that's why we need to understand it here that how this can be related to uh, the discourses about education understanding the way in which social uh, relations can be constructed through discourse is equally uh, important as uh, deconstructing the bad ways of exploiting exploiting people poco ha uh, pointed out that power is everywhere this this runs through the society it is behind it is open it is everywhere and this would probably be manipulated since it is everywhere but we can take this argument further and we can argue that if power is everywhere this can also be used for positive things also so why not to focus on the ways in which we can use the same power for positive gains instead of uh instead of mourning about uh the bad uses in a society bad uses of power in a society so this is what we can take further from focus words uh fairclough also understood power as operating behind through and within discourses and uh, as we use uh so far we have been focusing more on this de- de- deconstructing the use of power or the manipulation exploitation of power we should also think about reconstructing better regimes restructuring better uh, discourses better uh, reading materials to to shape society in a better and poised manner according to von dake uh theory of focuses on the way uh, social power abuse Uh, dominance and inequality are enacted reproduced and re- resisted by a text and talk in social and political context this is the de- deconstructive use of 
uh, use of critical discourse analysis. But as I said earlier, we, we should focus on the other side, which is constructive also. That's why Luke probably was very quick to emphasize upon that uh, the potential of critical discourse analysis can be enhanced, can be properly utilized if we uh, focus on both this deconstructive and constructive uses of language. So, so far we have focused enough and we need to focus more on the constructive side but we should also work on developing a uh, reconstructive or constructive side also. In constructive turn we can generate agency and especially in realm of education we can generate agency among students, teachers and others. That's why we can see recently more talk, talk about learner autonomy and, or uh, freedom of work to the teachers. Such concepts can be further highlighted by by doing some critical discourse analysis on education uh, on educational discourses and we should also create such discourses which provide freedom to teachers and students positive freedoms within their domains of learning uh, bloom and Atel walker are also uh, also support this kind of uh, a point of view and they challenge analysts to broaden the conception of power uh, by making its constructive positive uses more prominent. Uh, that's why by 2004 they have been more voices to, uh, to, uh, to contribute to the positive uses of power in a society and to highlight the positive uses of critical discourse analysis in a society. Uh, and in this regard Martin has been very very dominant I would say or rather his contribution are are more prominent than others because he proposed uh, somehow a kind of critical discourse analysis which can help us uh, construct or reconstruct such positive discourses and which, which he termed as positive discourse analysis which is which can be seen as a sub branch of critical discourse analysis in this uh, in this positive discourse analysis the positive uses of power are usually uh, highlighted and discourses created which can focus on such uses of language. So this positive discourse analysis to sum up we can so we can say uh, can be used to signal a shift in analytical focus to the study of constructive for, uh, forces instead of uh, the constructive forces. So both can go together but since we have done a lot on the de deconstruction we need to focus on some kind of reconstruction also.